Hi team, now let's take a closer look at the communication literacy writing exam. The communication literacy writing exam is like a mini triathlon. It has three distinct parts. Each part has its own characteristics. Like for example, the first leg of your triathlon is going to be short passages. You're gonna have 35 multiple choice questions and 10 passages to read through. A really good pace for this is 10 minutes per passage. The next leg of our triathlon is gonna involve editing short sentences. A good pacing for this is three minutes per sentence. So that's gonna work out to roughly around 20 minutes for the second part of your exam. The final leg of the triathlon involves the two essays, the composition essay and the summary essay. If we spend 100 minutes or, or 10 minutes per passage on the short passages, and that'll be about 100 minutes, and 20 minutes on the short sentences, that's, that's 100 plus 20, 120, that's two hours. If we spend two hours on the first half of the test, then we're going to have two hours for the second half, for the essay section. And that's key to have two hours. Now I'm working with a pacing of four hours. You have four hours to do the writing exam and that would only happen if you take the test at the test site. If you take the test at home, you're only given three hours. If you take the test at a test site, you're given four hours to do the test. So I would recommend anyone who's concerned about pacing to take the test at a test site, get the full four hours for the writing exam so you have two hours to do the essay. Team, these times don't have to be exact. You can spend more time or a little less time on the multiple choice more time on the short answer, less time on the essay, but keep these times in mind. When running a triathlon like this, you have to have some type of pacing. You don't wanna to get too stuck in any one area. So think about this pacing and see how it's gonna help you with your exam. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. This will get it out to more teachers that need help on these exams. And if you haven't already, you should check out a Go Academy workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Just go to goacademy.com at www.gohacademy.com and you'll see a list of all the classes that are coming up. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Everyone have a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.